Small cruises is the best. In saying that, we are on another cruise tonight. We're all alone, but we'll see some familiar faces and some new faces. Not entirely sure what we're doing. We're meeting up somewhere. They already had their first stop, but we're meeting up somewhere. And I think we're going to the hills. Um, so, Togo run? I've got the GoPro set up at the back there, so we should be getting some nice rolling shots of the interior while we cruise and we can see lights and other cards and stuff hopefully if it turns out you'll see it in here if it doesn't you'll probably still see it in here and see how we go with that okay let's head out to the second meet spot and we'll wait for everyone oh yay let's go We just got to the second spot. Everyone just rolled in. Pretty, pretty nice guys. There's an E30 here. I think we're gonna chill for a bit and then we will go and take some photos. Look how nice the sliding is. And look at that in the back. Some nice stuff, some nice stuff. Let's have a look at these cars. I want to talk to Luca from Idol Therapy right here. What's up? So, what's the plan for tonight? Yeah, photo shoot and cruise. So basically, yeah. getting inspiration from like that late 90s, early 2000s kind of Japan. Drifting vibe, street drifting vibe. Yep. We're kind of going up into the hills, um, trying to kind of imitate that style. Be safe, of course. Always be safe. <laughs> Especially if police are watching, we drive oh, yeah. safe 24-7. We're legal. We are always legal. We put all these powerful mods so we get to the speed limit quicker. Pretty much. So yeah, we're trying to kind of make it look like we're street racers mm -hmm. meeting in illegal spots. You know, it's all dark. That's that's the kind of vibe we're going for. Yep. Um, you know, getting up to no good. So plug yourself real quick. Um, Mostly Instagram is all I use, so uh, at Idle Therapy, so I D L E Idle Therapy. Yes, sir. He does amazing photos. He's you're actually getting really into like the graphic designs yes. side of images and photos and stuff, hey? Yeah. So yeah. It started off with um, mostly photos, yeah. and then as I started to try to spice them up, you know, put a little title or something like that. Yeah. I just kept doing more and more, and just kept following it. And <laughs> it's gone crazy from there. Yeah, it's man, it looks so sick. Like the things that you're putting out now is crazy. Easy. Every time you post, I'm like, it blows my mind. I'm like, how the hell, dude? It's so creative and it's so different that it's it just stands out and it looks so good. I haven't seen anything like it, especially your series, what you're doing now. The idea behind that was kind of, you know, most of these people here started off, you know, with their interesting cars, yeah. playing games early on as a kid. That's true. And I kind of thought, let's recreate that. Let's kind of put a little bit of that into my style. Yeah. Um, you know, all that Need for Speed Underground 2. Yeah. That was probably my the peak era for me 100% how long have you been in the like car photography space maybe about five years or so I'd yep. say right um, okay I took, wow. a, I took a break for a bit I was always kind of into photos for a while yeah but I did stop for a while I had some personal shit but got back into it now just all in the community trying to make events trying to mm -hmm. partake in things yeah, it's good definitely go check him out he does some really really good stuff appreciate you man thank you bro I appreciate it man appreciate you for everything you do good seeing you man it's, it's been, been a while likewise. it's, it's been, been a while, while he still owes me my USB <laughs> He's had it for months. He won't give it back to me. <laughs> yeah, it's been like four months. Man. I want that lanyard back. No, not really. <laughs> oh, bro, I'm keeping that lanyard. <laughs> if they win premiership this year, 
I don't even, I don't, I don't I don't even go for the Dockers. <laughs> as soon as he gave it to me and he had the Dockers, I was like... You can keep it, you can keep it, you can keep it. <laughs> I'm a West Coast supporter, I don't even go for it. <laughs> God, what? <laughs> <laughs> Alright man, I appreciate you. Alright, take it easy. Cheers, brother. <laughs> We've got an E30 here, right? Now, as you guys know, I always have a soft spot in my heart. I do really want another one. C30 is really, really nice. It's got an MTEC 1 front bumper, front valance, which is what I wanted when I had my E30. My favorite is the MTEC 2 which is for the Series 2 obviously, but seeing this in person, it reminds me why I love the E30, just because it gives such a presence. It's one of those staple cars in like the 80s, 90s German cars. I really, really want to get another one, probably Series 2 coupe with a sunroof, probably ideal, but yeah, we'll see if we can find one. If you guys know anyone selling, I'll be ready in the next 12, 16 months. The car next to the E30, I don't know much about the Nissan Laurels? Laurels? Laurel? All I know is RB25 and it looks so, so good. The first one that I saw was Richie, I don't know how to say his last name, Richie Con Contra, Con I'm not even gonna try. They just, a four door sedan, comfy, RB25, and it's just, it with this kit, it looks so low and it looks so aggressive. It's such a clean example, like the color of this car is actually so, so nice. Like everything fits well in together, such an aggressive kit, even interior is super super nice that old school nice 90s vibe best thing about this car no pillars pillarless look at that look how nice that is okay so we are off we are going to the hills um, we're going to a lookout and then we're getting the photos that Luca from idol therapy wants and yeah so should be fun I'm excited to see what the photos look like because yeah, I'm excited to see what he has in his creative mind and his creative juices flowing. Hopefully, we have a nice safe drive. We've had a little bit of a issue. Half of us made it to the hills. We had an issue with Lucas' car. He's stuck on the freeway. Um, apparently clutch and battery issues. So we're gonna have to postpone this. Sorry about this light, it's flickering. Yeah, sad we couldn't do the photo shoot, but I hope Lucas' car is all right. We're gonna have to end it here. Yes, we couldn't get the photo shoot done, but it happens. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and hope you guys enjoyed me talking to people and showing you guys cars that are in Perth. Be doing more of these because feeling a bit more comfortable in the public talking to the camera. So yeah, hopefully this is a good change and yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please smash that like and subscribe button. You guys know what to do. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one as always love you guys take care bye peace